All right, Marcellus, <laughs> is that just happy talk, or do you believe AD really <laughs> believes he put their roster up against anybody? Come on, Clips. Happy I mean, talk. Come on, Clips. <laughs> you know this happy talk. This ain't number. <laughs> this ain't number pep rally. This is LeBron's version of not three, not four, and it, it, and it comes with the territory when you go to a new team. That excitement. Players, we, we're stuck looking through a talent lens. We don't look at a player for what he is through an 82-game season. We look at Boogie Cousins walking around like, oh, he look lean, he looking ready. <laughs> Boogie lost a couple of pounds. <laughs> Boogie going to ball this year, but Boogie has durability issues. Mm-hmm. You can look at everyone on this roster and find a wart or two about their game and durability. That said... When you're in that moment, when he believes this fully. I go back to when I was, <laughs> my senior year, I remember that pep rally. And we were sitting there, and I remember looking in that front row, Jennifer Rojas, shout out to you, girl. And, um, <laughs> and we going to win league this year. Yeah, right? We're leading this year. Yeah, yeah. It's echoing through the gym. <sighs> go Mariners. We were 0-10, bro. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I mean, we got tilted every single game, but you believe it. So I think he believes it, but is that the reality? Hell no. Age before beauty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. listen. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> you and Jason, something else. Y'all know something else. We're getting it started early, anyway, man. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm with you. You know, I think um, you have, uh, from A.V. Bradley to... to uh, uh, um, but let's go Rondo. A lot of those guys don't stay healthy the whole year. That's yeah. one thing. Yeah. So it is happy talk for me. But again, you still have somebody as dominant like uh, Anthony Davis who can play uh, and guard one through five. And um, you have LeBron James. You have uh, Kuz. I think Kuz is the key to their team. If Kuz come back uh, with better shot selection and be able to guard wings, I think they have a, a good chance. I believe he does believe it because he specified really in the seven-game series, mm-hmm. not the complete season. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See, for me, and we, we talked about this last week, to me it's the health of the team and how you figure it out because you, you think about low management, AD is really not going to play probably 65 to 70 games maybe. Mm-hmm. You cut LeBron back a little bit more, Rondo back. The guy who I think is going to benefit a lot is Kuzma mm-hmm. yep. because you, you got to think about the things he's been through. The first year was with Luke, rookie year. He had to change last year kind of his role on the team. And there's going to be a different role this year, but I think a better role because as those veterans sit down a little bit, mm-hmm. Kuz is going to be the mainstay in regards to a bulk of the minutes played, yep. you know, whether that's with LeBron or AD. So I, say it, I said this before, I, I mean, you put their roster up, during the regular season, you have all those questions. Yes. Injury history and everything like that and, and, and manage, load management. But when you start to break it down, if they're healthy enough mm-hmm. going into a playoff series, mm-hmm. the experience that they have championship-wise with Rondo, with Danny Green, with LeBron, I like that, that is a <clears throat> different outlook when you go into a seven-game series. Breathe. All what? the qualifiers you just gave me right. is why this probably won't work. Why? Therefore, this won't stack up against all other rosters. Why? Because when you have to go into a season with your whole ambition based on everything working in your favor, it usually doesn't. So then Clippers got to do it. Yeah. They, they go low. No, no, they, no, hold on. Hold They go, go low-manage. Kawhi. Oh, yeah. And they go low manage Paul, well, Paul George. George is coming off a uh, show. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they, go, yeah. they go do the same thing. No, but they also have the mm. depth. They have the best bench. Well, no, I, 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 I love, bench. I love, I love the bench in which they have. Right. But again, and the pieces fit. And the pieces fit. But I think what you have, the infrastructure for the Clippers are better. Okay. okay. But they haven't won yet. No. So Lakers, I, I, Lakers haven't won I, yet. But, I, but collectively, they have them. Individually, you, you, they have. This okay. is New Orleans West you, you with have LeBron a, being over. I'm a, right. Jim, I think you've made an excellent point, and I say that in all seriousness. I hadn't thought of it in terms of AD's actually in the right mindset. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the conversations yeah. he's had with LeBron, Palinka, Vogel, Jason Kidd, they have a strategy, Marcel. It's like, we're going to ignore the regular season. Yeah. We're going to play our, our, our playoff lineups in short bursts together mm-hmm. during the regular season. We're, we're not – LeBron's going to probably play 33 <laughs> minutes, mm-hmm. blah, blah. And we're going to just try to make it to the playoffs. Oh. And that's where they'll really believe. What are y'all talking but about? But that's where they'll really in believe. In the Western Conference, when 48 games is eighth seed? You going to ignore games? Good luck with that. Well, you got to be you're 40. Not, you're, you're not really – but, you, but the, you're not his point is you're not ignoring the games. That's one. Two is when you have a LeBron James that, that literally haven't taken off in the summers – for the past eight, nine, maybe ten years, yeah. and now you have somebody's dropping in weight. 
and really working on his body, and you have an AD, and hopefully, this is my my thing, hopefully you have AD and DeMarcus Cousins and the rest of those guys on LeBron's uh, nutritional regimen right. and his body work. I'm thinking, listen, in the next two, three months, you have something special with these guys because their mindset, like you said, their mindset can be totally different. Now, usually, in, even in relationships in general, if you're with toxic relationships, as Jimmy, you would notice, you've noticed, you get hurt because of the environment kind of thing, the stress relief. Now, when you're with this right here, you with LeBron James and AD together, I think your spirit, your energy, your everything is a lot better. Your so belief. it's susceptible, your belief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're more, you know, you're not susceptible to be getting injured or whatever, thinking negative. Well, take, take it one more step. Neither one of these guys has to carry the load, which is the key also. AD had to kind of carry the load in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. He just had to do that. LeBron had to carry the load last year. So he had Boogie and didn't do much. Well, well no. AD. But, well, he had... They did, they did pretty well. They did, they they did, did pretty they did well, well in the playoffs with well. Rondo. But here's the thing. I think that helps from a mental perspective, too, that they don't have to go out and try to do but, but everything. But Boogie got hurt. Well, he got... When in New Orleans, he did. No, in New Orleans, he got hurt. So when he went to the playoffs, he didn't have him. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, now you have AD with the LeBron James and a, maybe a hopefully a, a more four or five month that's uh, conditioned Boogie Cousins. Look, I, I, Jim, I, again, you made a great point and it speaks to mindset mm -hmm. of they, they quickly transition and, and AD's had to transition because so far this has probably been a nightmare scenario for AD. Mm -hmm. He thought Kawhi was coming. Mm -hmm. he, he sacrificed four and a half million dollars. Mm -hmm. He don't even get the jersey he was promised. I mean, it's been a series of bails <laughs> right, he's right, taken. Right. And clearly they've said, hey, look, man, look, we got a new strategy. Yeah. We're going to make it to the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> and if we do healthy, we're going to be a problem. I have a problem with that because, one, they have the oldest active roster in terms of age. Two, in the West, a lot of teams got better. Yeah, we, we could say what they we did. want. A lot of teams got better, and they're young mm -hmm. and better. So that means they're not going to take those games off and give you games you when you want to go out edge. there. Man. You still have but, a mental but, edge. But, but three... <laughs> AD got to believe in this squad. He helped build this. He helped pay for the squad. That $4 million he gave up for no Kawhi. He rooted for Kawhi for $4 million. Right. He bought these players that got problems, and he knows it, but he's got to believe in them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.